Amanda, congratulations on the win tonight. It was a very close match. What emotions are running through your mind right now? Um, I just want to soak in this moment. Uh, I'm just extremely happy. It was an amazing match. It was very close, so you know there were a bit of nerves. And to play Naomi for the first time, uh, it's unreal, honestly. So I'm just really happy with the win today. And yeah, it sucks we can both win today because these matches are hard. And honestly, I think she's a very nice girl. So these days are kind of tough. But yeah, I'm just really happy in the end. We'll go to questions in room. We'll start with Ben. What what does Naomi sort of mean to you as a as a player and competitor on tour? What and what does playing her and, and beating her mean also? I think she's really inspiring. Um, what she's done in the last couple of years is amazing, and just how authentic she is. I think she's um, just great. She's really fresh for the tour, and I think she's really funny and sweet. So it was it was really cool to finally play her today. She has a really big game, so I knew that I really had to step it up and try to be as aggressive as I could. Um, I don't know if I did that so well today because in most of the moments, I feel like she was more aggressive. I'm not really sure, but I think my serve is what really helped me today. When you say authentic, what do you mean? Um, she just tells the truth about how she feels. You know, She spoke about her mental health the last couple of years. Um, I know she's gone through a really tough year last year, so I kind of feel for her today. I know it's not easy, especially just being the defending champion. Um, kind of feel bad, but yeah, uh, just the way that she talks about things and how honest she is, I think that's really inspiring. Congratulations. Uh, your return was great, uh, especially in the uh, second set and the third set. And it seems like you read the, uh, where she served. So can you talk about the, your return? My what, sorry, was it? Return. Oh, returns. To be honest, I did not think that, but thank you, <laughs> because I was getting very upset with how I was returning today, but she has a really big serve. She's one of the biggest servers on tour, so I was really trying to stay dialed in in those moments because those were the most important ones, but in the third set, she was always holding serve, and I mean, we were both just going back to back with our serves, so I think in the tie break, I really tried to stay in those moments, just try to dig deep and try to make those returns, which I think I did the best was in the tiebreaker, returning her serves. But yeah, I've worked a lot on it, and I think all the work that I've done in the preseason has helped me for today, because honestly, I have worked a lot of my returns, so I think it's just paying off. Matt, you've been in fantastic form since arriving in Australia. What what do you love about playing here in Melbourne? And you know, you played the, the whole the whole summer's been amazing. So what do you love about playing in Australia? To be honest, I love playing in front of Australian fans. <laughs> I think they are so cute. Um, it's just so fun playing here, the atmosphere. It's just similar to US Open. I absolutely love it. Um, you know, the last tournament was pretty small. It, it was still an amazing week for me, but I was really looking forward to this and just playing on these big stages um, here at Australian Open. It's just an amazing atmosphere. This is everything that I trained for. I mean, I was getting goosebumps in the tiebreaker. I always get that feeling and I'm like, ah, go away. But yeah, it's just, it's an amazing feeling and it's all of that hard work that I put in. It's to have those moments like today. You mentioned big stage. I think we all think of you as a big stage player. Do you think of yourself as that kind of player? What's the experience like of playing on a night like this against the soccer? How does it? How does it feel different? How does it bring out the best in you? Yeah, going in today, it was my first time um, playing against Naomi. So to be honest, I was just thinking to myself that it's going to be a really good test for me today to see where I'm at. I know I'm coming off a title, but um, I honestly haven't had that many top wins, I feel like, like with Naomi that I had today. So I just really wanted to see like where my game is at and if I can handle it, like try to win today. So, yeah, I think this is a huge boost of confidence for me. I appreciate Naomi talking about mental health uh, struggles that she's had last year. I'm wondering, having someone who's, who's like her, who's a top player, be open about sort of things, does it make it easier for, for you and for maybe for other players on tour to feel less alone or to see someone being open about, like you said? Yeah, for sure. I mean, just to like spread awareness and try to get rid of the stigma 
around mental health. I think that we're in a completely different time now. This generation is becoming more honest about all of these kinds of things. So I think it's great to see. Um, I'm comfortable speaking about whatever, you know. I've gone through a couple hard years and I don't mind posting stuff on social media and just try to spread awareness for people who are also growing through tough things. Um, I think that's great, you know, that to be relatable to other people who follow us, I think it's a great message. How tough those years have been for you, how much more does that make this night mean to you? Yeah, uh, last year was a huge struggle for me. Um, and honestly, I didn't think that I would, I mean, it's not that I didn't think, but I really wanted to be having these moments again. And sometimes you doubt it, like, what if I get injured and I'll never be able to play in a Grand Slam again? Like, those thoughts try to creep up in my head sometimes. And yeah, last year was just not great. All my results I wasn't happy with. So I'm just really happy that I had a great preseason with my team, uh, Roman, Rob, and also Gleb. Uh, this guy that I was training a lot with in Miami, they've done incredible work with me in the preseason. So I'm just incredibly thankful and grateful that I have such an amazing support system around me and a team. So yeah, I think that without them, this probably wouldn't have been possible. So it's also really important, the people that you surround yourself with. And that's what really helped me um, after this past year to get back to you know, the level that I can play. We have time for two more questions in room. We'll go to Craig Gabriel. Amanda, if you've answered this, don't don't answer it again. But um, what is what does Darren Cahill bring to your game, and what did he advise you going into this match this evening? Uh, he's been a great addition to my team the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, he tries to help me stay calm and relaxed, and just give me the confidence uh, going into this match today just believing in myself and knowing that I can do it. I think he does a great job of, you know, telling me those things. So, God, my phone. Um, yeah, I mean, he's just been great helping me and he was at my warm up today and just try to play relaxed tennis. Uh, yesterday I was kind of stressing myself out a little bit trying to play perfect, but he intervenes in those moments and just tells me to just relax and play the game that I know. How does it feel to sort of be back on top of your game and where do you think you can sort of get to, say, by year's end? Um, honestly, I'm just enjoying one match at a time right now. Uh, I don't think that I played amazing tennis today. I think it was a little bit tough and I was pretty nervous, but uh, hopefully that I can build on this into the next round. And yeah, my body is feeling good and I think that in the tough moments I was able to produce some good tennis. So I'm feeling good and I'm just enjoying every single match here. Moving online, we'll go to WTA Courtney. Hey Amanda, congratulations, great win. Um, I'm curious how different, or maybe it doesn't feel different, I don't know, uh, does this feel to your run at Roland Garros through, through the first week? Um, can you compare and contrast them at all? To be honest, I didn't really think about that today. Um, I actually got to the fourth round here a couple of years ago before my French Open. So maybe that's a little bit similar because, you know, playing in Melbourne and playing in front of the crowd, um, I had a pretty decent week that year. So um, I, don't, I already forgot your question. <laughs> Fair enough. It wasn't a good question. It's fine. Um, but <laughs> going ahead, though, looking ahead towards Ash, um, mm -hmm. obviously you guys played in Paris semifinal. Um, what, do you, what do you anticipate from that match and what will – that match against playing her now as a world number one, what will that mean to you? And maybe that's why you compared it because I'm up against Ash next. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, she's an amazing it. player. You know, I look up to her a lot. I love her game. Uh, she's very consistent and she's a champion. So it's just gonna be exciting to go up against her. Another amazing opportunity for me. Um, gonna get back on the practice court tomorrow and work on my game and just try to give myself the best chance tomorrow.